There once was a Minecraft man. For now, we'll just call him CMB. This man once found a red lucky block right by a bunch of trees. This man wanted to protect this lucky block with all of his heart because he found it and it was red, his favorite color, of course. So he protected this lucky block even from the dangers of everyone. He looked around to see if anyone would take it and he saw pigs, pigs who he could not trust. So CMB had to do the one thing he knew he could, kill all the pigs so that none of them could steal his lucky block from him. So he blew up the pigs with his TNT and all the pigs made a squeal when they died because they're pigs. So CMB with his TNT who killed the pigs without even a second thought, then got bedrock to build, or got obsidian to build a little house to protect this red lucky block of his. He built a way. He spent hours a day. Until he was finished, he felt very diminished. He kept just building with all of his obsidian, taking forever until he was finished. Then he got his door and his lever and protected his lucky block. He was very certain that no one would take his lucky block, so he then left to go get supplies to protect it even further. But he, what he didn't know was his arch enemy, the piranha plant, had come and came to steal his red lucky block that he knew CMB had loved so dearly. He stole his red lucky block and put TNT everywhere to blow up the place so that he wouldn't leave any trace. Him now with his TNT placed, he set them out on fire so that they would go kaboom. He ran like the wind, and then kaboom. All the TNT exploded, destroying all the glass and even killing a chicken in the background, alas. Then CMB came back, seeing it was destroyed. He knew it could only be one person. Piranha Plant had stolen his red lucky block. Knowing this, he'd placed a TNT in front of the camera and blown it up. Why, I don't know. He then ran to the pipe to go get his lucky block back from the evil piranha who had stolen it. Then, once in the pipe, he had jumped out and he knew exactly where the piranha plant was, at his beach. Not then at the beach, CMB saw the piranha plant and threatened to kill him if he did not give it back. The piranha plant said, no way, this is my red lucky block now. You can't do anything to me. CMB did the one thing he knew to do, placed TNT everywhere and lit it on fire. Then the piranha plant was scared, not knowing what to do. He was destroyed, just like that. Then, with him being destroyed, CMB got his lucky block back and lived happily ever after, running and roaming around the Minecraft world. CMB was complete. And that's it. The end. Hey there guys, if you have reached this point in the video, that means you've watched it all. So then, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to subscribe and leave a like. Le and leave a like if you guys want to see more content like this. Like, maybe next time we can do uh, uh, the story of the yellow lucky block or the blue lucky block. But leave a like if you want to see more content like this on the channel. But until then, we'll see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye!